Hello, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK, bringing you information, news, sensationalism, whatever it is. Anyway, today, the other day I was talking about hoaxes, and um, today somebody sent me um, something, I'm going to share the video with you, about Metro Bank going into administration, and everybody's got to take their money out and this and that. I mean, I don't have an account with Metro Bank, but had I got one and I received this um, video, I think I would have been quite perturbed. And, you know, this is some of the, this is possibly the reason why, you know, the shares go down. I mean, it's, it, can't, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. You know, if people are saying that, uh, you know, somebody's going in administration and it's a rumour, and it's not backed. I mean, I, she sent it to me, and then I thought to myself, as usual, can't take anything for granted these days. At first, I thought, oh, I've got to talk about it. And then I said, in order to talk about it, I better find out if it's really happening now. You know, when are they going to fall into administration? Because the same with Thomas Cook. I mean, I actually read that in the newspaper, so I knew it was true. And you saw it in the news that day, or at least the day before. When I looked up for Metro Bank going at administration, I could only see something in May. Anyway, I'm going to show you this video, and it's one of the reasons why we can't always take what we hear as gospel. We have to investigate it. I think this particular video came out in May last year, and apparently it caused a lot of people to take their money out of the banks and um, the shares went down. I don't know if this is a new video, but the fact of the matter is the content is similar to what they were referring to when I looked at the sources. So I'm assuming it's the same video, but it might be something we don't know. So anyway, let me show it to you and you can let me know whether or not you think it's recent or old, and you can have your comments below. Thanks. Good morning, guys. Okay, so just a bit of news this morning. Um, I've just heard from a very, very good source that Metro Bank could be in administration within 24 to 48 hours. Um, now, all my business uh, affairs are with Metro, so I've just transferred everything out of it, put it in the Barclays account, and just waiting to see what happens. Um, I've done a bit of research, and since um, finding out the news this morning, there's been multiple um, news articles over the last three months which say Metro Bank having problems, their share price has dropped, they couldn't raise 300 million that they needed for the next round of fundraising, etc., etc. Um, and now, this morning, I received a phone call from a good friend of mine in the city, um, and his friend, who is quite high up in the, in the, in the bank, has been sacked. Um, and basically told my friend, if you know anyone with any money in Metro, get it out, because it's going to be the Northern Rock thing all over again which means everyone's going to lose a lot of money. So I didn't want anybody in this group losing any money. So I thought I'd make you all aware of this straight away so you can make your own uh, decisions. But that was it really, guys. So look, have a great day and I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, so I don't know if that's an old... You see, the thing is with videos, they don't have a date on it. At least with YouTube, you can get a date when it was uploaded. But when they send videos like that, you don't know if it's recent. You don't know if it's old. I thought I would share it with you anyway, just in case there is an element of truth. But I don't know. I looked up various newspapers today, and this is what I got. Um, Metro's share price sunk nearly 80% when an accounting error was uncovered by the Bank of England's Prudential Regulation Authority. However, Metro insists that it is on a robust financial footing. And this was since January 2019, that 80%. Um, however, it was revealed that hundreds of millions of pounds of loans for commercial and buy-to-let property had been wrongly classified as being lower risk than they actually were. 
So this is, I think, May 2019, that piece of news. And then I think this WhatsApp message, this is also, um, wasn't, was it this year? It says, um, a WhatsApp message shared by Metro customers on Twitter linked to a BBC story about Metro's falling share prices urged anyone with a Metro bank account or safety deposit box to empty them as soon as possible, claiming the lender was facing financial difficulties and may be shut down or going bankrupt. The thing is, with that guy in the video, he did say his friend was sacked, as opposed to made redundant, or as opposed to because the company is going into liquidation, which could mean that, you know, he might have a gripe. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. Um, like I said, we just don't know. I'm sure if Metro Bank was going bust, there'd be more recent news on it. But you can keep your ears to the ground, peeps. Metro said the messages amounted to false rumours and the majority of customers queuing were primarily interested in accessing items stored in a safety deposit box rather than cashing in their accounts. Cash deposits of up to 85000 are covered by law under the Financial Services Compensation Scheme. So while Metro stressed that the contents of safety deposit box are always the customer's property. <coughs> Sorry. Social media chatter, in quotes, had spiralled out of control with memories of the run of Northern Rock in 2007 still in many people's minds, which was the last time a major UK lender had a mass of customers queuing to withdraw deposits as they panicked over the state of the bank's balance sheet. However, that was before the social media era, with lenders such as Metro Bank now operating in an environment where it's harder to shut down rumours. And it is. Once one person sends it out, it's gone. Your reputation is ruined, everything. And that's the thing. If it is a rumour, or if it's a hoax, Metro is likely to shut down anyway at this rate. Because if everybody starts going in and taking out all their money based on a rumour and it's not a fact, then they will go into administration and it will become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Platforms such as WhatsApp allow rumours to be forwarded quickly between close families and community groups. Metro Bank uses its Twitter account at the weekend, I don't know which weekend, to tweet to customers to assure them that it is stable. It's not clear whether the sources or time of the WhatsApp messages are being investigated by Metro Bank and it was not able to confirm how much cash had been withdrawn as a result. AJ Bell's mold said, having hundreds of customers queue up to withdraw money certainly hasn't helped matters, particularly as the business is in the process of trying to raise $350 million to alleviate concerns about its balance sheet. So what that guy's saying is kind of, that's in there. It does kind of refer to the 300 million and they are trying to raise some more money. So while Bet Metro Bank has done its best to reassure customers that their money is safe, pictures of one of the branches packed with individuals wanting to cash out is damaging to its reputation and could hurt new customer growth, at least in the short term. Shortly after announcing the accounting mistake, Metro Bank said it was would be raising another three hundred fifty million in funding only months after raising three hundred million from investors last year, last July, when it ruled out further cash calls. The bank has denied that the three hundred and fifty million fundraising, which is expected to launch this week, I don't know which week that is, is linked to the accounting errors and has stressed that it is earmarked for future growth. As far as we're concerned, it remains a rumour until it is announced publicly. And I'll put the links below so you can make, like that guy said in the video, you can make your own decision. But like I said, rumours can be very damaging. And um, we don't know the authenticity. That's a problem. Like I said, I don't have a Metro Bank, but I think, I, well, thing is, you are covered. Like they said, you are covered for 85000 but bloody hell, how long is it going to take for you to get what little money you've got in there, even if you've got a couple of grand? And I think that's what people think about, you know, when they've got money in a bank. They just want to be able to access it. They don't want it to disappear. 
So, like I said, I don't know if that guy who got sacked has got a gripe. I don't know if that guy in the video is how, how, what, how old the video is. And like I said, if you don't know the age of the video, you know, it could come out any time. It could resurface at any time. Cause the same amount of damage it did last year. So, anyway, I'll leave it to you, Beeps. That's all for now. Bye-bye.